Will Disney be able to finally level up in the computer animation field? You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Wreck-It Ralph. We can't change who we are. You can't mess with the program, Ralph. <laughs> Everyone here says I'm just a mistake. You ready for this? What do I stand for? I'm not leaving you here alone. Well, let's close out with the bad guy affirmation. I am bad. <laughs> And that's good. I will never be good. No, 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 no. And that's not bad. Hold that thought. There's no one I'd rather be than me. Much like the Fix-It Felix Jr. game in this movie, Disney has long been a staple of the animation arcade. But also like in the world of gaming, the competition has become increasingly technologically advanced, and some were concerned that Disney animation might be passed by. Then Disney had a stroke of genius, taking what they do best, fairy tales, and applying that technique to their computer animation efforts. And it was a success, a huge success in fact, reinvigorating the old ink and paint club. Excuse me, Hue and Pixel Club. But was Tangled Success a glitch? Like Vanellope Von Schweetz, does Disney Animation not really belong in the same race as Disney-owned Pixar, DreamWorks Animation, Illumination Entertainment, and Blue Sky Studios? Well, just like Vanellope, Disney Animation has started thinking like a glitch. They've assembled a rough-and-tumble voice cast, John C. Riley, Sarah Silverman, Jack McBrayer, and Jane Lynch, to do the impossible, tell a story that appeals to all ages and all demographics. That's right, Wreck-It Ralph is a smorgasbord of genres, from retro to action to, well, this. And they've even handed the helm over to a guy who was previously a director on the very un-Disney shows The Simpsons and Futurama. Plus, Disney is really rolling the dice in the hopes that gaming is as big with mainstream audiences as the media would lead one to believe. So can Disney animation go from being a glitch in the computer animation genre to dominating the code? Let's go find out. Going to see Wreck-It Ralph was a really interesting experience. It was a fun experience, but it was interesting because you really can see the crossroads that the Disney Animation Studio is currently at. Uh, on the one hand, you have this wonderful computer animated movie that I think is uh, really shows Disney's willingness to embrace change, the change in audiences, what their tastes are, and uh, create a film that I think really is going to be very competitive with the other computer animated films out there. Great, great film, but very, very different for Disney. But then you have it preceded by this short Paper Man, which is classic Disney. Uh, and not just in the fact that it's a, you know, it has a classic feel to it, not just that it's like a, a very old time romantic story, very reminiscent of like the Cary Grant and uh, Catherine Hepburn films. It's because it's black and white, it takes place, I, I would say maybe the 30s or 40s. But uh, it's also very classic Disney in that it's found a way, this, you know, this is a, they're pioneering a new form of technology here that they were going to use with Tangled, but I guess it wasn't ready, where they are able to take the expressiveness of 2D animation in the way characters uh, react in their faces and do it with computers, uh, or at least partially with computers. And I really think they're onto something. I mean, when you go and see this, you're going to, I think the 2D animation is not dead. And it's great to see that Disney hasn't forgotten it. It's great to see that Disney is aware of what's going on, aware of the evolving market, and they are working on it and they are making progress, as you can see very cl clearly with Paper Man. It gives me great confidence that we will see uh, a 2D-esque uh, hand-drawn, you know, animated, 2D-esque, computer animated film, I guess, uh, feature film coming from Disney in the near future, which is ex incredibly exciting. Uh, they have a, the, the, the male and female character here, really great, awesome, uh, and the female character reminiscent, and also that's another way that I think Paper Man is updated, that it's reminiscent of the classic Disney hero and heroine, but more modern, uh, more real world. So I think that makes them more relatable. I think that was really nice, really great. But this isn't a review of Paper Man, this is a review of Wreck-It Ralph. And as I was saying, uh, it's fascinating to see Disney's willingness to change and do it so successfully. Uh, I think that, as I said in the opening, Tangled was kind of like that, um, uh, the meeting of the two minds, you know, the, the Disney fairy tales and the computer animated movie. And it was great, it was very successful, and they're going to do that again with Frozen. But with Wreck-It Ralph, you have the clear-cut computer animated film, which has the sensibilities of the other ones that Wreck-It Ralph will be competing with. And I think it's fantastic. It's really well done. Great characters. You definitely see the Futurama, the Simpsons influence from Rich Moore. Uh, and the voice cast really does an extraordinarily good job. I would also have to say, hats off particularly to Jane Lynch and Sarah Silverman, who deliver some really great female characters. I hope they catch on. I think that the, the classic appealing Disney heroine, like it's shown in Paper Man, uh, is, is uh, the knee-jerk reaction. I think female audiences and little girls are going to want to gravitate towards that. But if they can start to 
gravitate towards this new kind of female character. I think that'll be great for entertainment and great for women in general. Uh, really wonderful role models and really well imagined. Great. They have they have character arcs. They that, are rev that don't revolve around um, their romantic subplots. Really great. Uh, I was really impressed with those two characters, and I hope that people buy lots of merchandise of Vanellope von Schweetz uh, and Sergeant Calhoun. I thought they were really fantastic. And also, but John C. Riley, great. If you're a John C. Riley fan, you're going to love uh, this film. I think they really took a lot of what makes John C. Riley work as an actor, what makes him click with audiences, particularly in comedic roles, and they brought that here. And as I've always been impressed with John C. Riley, even when he's doing comedy, he brings a lot of heart to it and he takes it very seriously and he's able to elevate it because of the caliber of his acting. And here, the caliber of his voice acting. Oh yes, and I have to say, bring candy to this movie because if you don't have candy when you're watching it, you are going to feel, you're going to regret it because Sugar Rush looks so good you can literally taste it. It's it's fantastic. I guess not literally, but it's that it looks that great. Loved it. Also, I would also like to point out why, why I'm saying good things about voice work. Alan Tudyk does the voice of King Candy, and uh, you would never guess it was him. It's really impressive. Uh, great job. And also, some great surprises in the movie. This is not a uh, by-the-numbers kind of family film. I was genuinely surprised by a number of the uh, surprise twists within the film. Uh, didn't see them coming and they were great. And it's just really a clever movie. It's a very modern film. It shows a great future for Disney in the computer animation field and perhaps maybe in simulating 2D animation with Paper Man. I think it's great. I think Disney is diversifying and there, you can see it right here in the slate and it's very exciting. So if you want to have a really great time at the movies, uh, just a great Disney time at the f movies, uh, I think you're really going to have it with Wreck-It Ralph and Paper Man. Great film. Really exciting. And also, you're going to want to play uh, these games after you see the movie. I'm told you can go on to the Wreck-It Ralph website and play them online, but hopefully Disney will, hopefully, hopefully this movie is successful enough they'll develop a console game. Because while I'm not a gamer, uh, I, all my comic books and movies take up all my time. I would play, uh, I would play these three games, Fix-It Felix Jr., Sugar Rush, and Hero's Duty. Uh, in this context. They were really well done. So be sure to share your own thoughts down below of what you think of Wreck-It Ralph and Paper Man and what this means for the potential of Disney going forward if you're excited, if you're as excited as I am. And as always, thank you for coming to be on the trailer. I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope you check out uh, our, the other content here. We have audience reactions to other films, uh, also movie news and movie trailers, and as, also reviews of those trailers. So as always, thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe and uh, see you online. Bye.